What's going on guys, Kitchy1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today Rockstar just announced their 1.12 patch notes. So, as you guys know, there's a lot of information here and Rockstar organizes it by top changes and then all changes. Well, the all changes list is pretty long, so we're going to be going over the uh, the top changes, and I'm going to tell you guys how patch 1.12 will be affecting you and the things that you can expect. The first thing that I want to say before we get into the actual bulleted points on the list is that, well... This patch was a little bit underwhelming. What do I mean by that? Well, we were kind of hoping that this would be the patch that we might see the addition of multiple garages, maybe the addition of heists, and we didn't really get either of those. But we did get some new things, so without any further ado, why don't we take a look at the first change. A new Lester ability has been added. Players will now be able to call Lester to have him tell his cop buddies to turn a blind eye to any crime that you may or may not be committing for a short period of time. Now, I've actually got the details on that for you guys. Here's how it's gonna work. When you call Lester and request this, it's gonna cost you $5,000. You know, $5,000 is actually quite a bit just for the cops to not notice you do something. And it is going to last for three minutes. So, 5,000 bucks for three minutes of being unwanted by the police. Is it worth it? I don't know, that's up to you. Personally, I don't think I'll be using it very much. That seems a little steep, unless maybe it's something that's gonna give me five wanted stars, and I don't know, maybe I wanna try to steal a tank, but I don't know if I'm gonna be using that. Up next, players are now awarded more cash when completing parachute, races, death matches, and LTS jobs with less than four players. So that's a good change, you know? If you're doing uh, jobs in small groups of people with a couple buddies, then that'll definitely benefit you. And next, every time a player likes or dislikes content, they will receive 50 RP. In my opinion, that's a great little update. You know, it's a little bit of incentive to actually rate a map rather than sit there and just let the loading screen go while everybody waits for you to rate it and then you don't do it. Now you've actually got some incentive to do it. It might not be much, but it'll add up over a period of time. And also, they fixed an issue where players who had upgraded personal vehicles prior to 1.10 were only able to sell them for $10,000, so you'll now be getting full value for your car. Also, they fixed an issue where players lost the Gusenberg Sweeper despite having purchased it during the Valentine's event, so if you lost that, hopefully you'll be getting it back and you won't have to worry about losing it anymore. Up next, they fixed an exploit where players were able to use the creator in free roam session and spawn <laughs> objects in vehicles, so I never actually witnessed this myself, but uh, if you guys weren't uh, aware of it, people were able to go into free mode and somehow access the content creator and just spawn items all over the city. Objects, items, cars, whatever. Whatever you can spawn in the content creator, they were able to spawn. I think they showed up invisible for other players, but still, that was a huge troll tactic that is no longer uh, available to use. Up next, they fixed an exploit where players were able to use weapons within their apartments and kill other players in their garage. Uh, obviously, that's a bad thing. I did hear little bits of uh, little bits of info about that where people were being murdered inside their garage and they didn't know how, so that is no longer going to be a thing. And also, vote screens now progress when a job has received a majority vote. Awesome! Yes! <laughs> As somebody who likes to race and stuff online a lot, there's nothing I hate more than waiting for these people to vote for maps and then they just don't vote. So you end up sitting there for a minute and uh, that's actually a good update. I'm very glad to see that. Up next, they fixed an issue where players could be unable to reclaim their personal vehicles from the impound lot after being destroyed. So, looks like if your vehicle is destroyed, you will be once again able to pick it up from the impound lot. And we are almost done with the list here. They fixed an issue where it was possible for a player to receive hangs and long load times after completing several activities. I don't know about you guys, but that would happen to me every now and then. It wasn't often, but you know, every now and then the map would zoom out as it does here in the uh, loading screen and it would just hang here forever. And maybe, you know, sometimes it wouldn't go back at all. I had to do console resets, things like that, so hopefully that will be fixed for good. And the last thing on the list of top changes is, they fixed an issue where players were able to render themselves and the car they were driving invisible to grief other players. So uh, we've known about that for a long time, there have been different methods here and there and you know, a lot of different ways to do it, but apparently now it has officially been fixed, so no more trolling, no more griefing with the invisibility glitch, and uh, honestly I didn't run into that very often, so it didn't affect me too much, but to those of you who were murdered by it countless times, then I guess uh, now this this should be a little bit of a better experience for you, and uh, Grand Theft Auto Online should just be more enjoyable. So with that, guys, please tell me your opinions on all this in the comments below. Are these good updates overall, or are you kind of pissed off and maybe you wanted to see the release of heists and um, the addition of more garages and things like that? So with that, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.